There are three Spanish movies available in Netflix that you must watch. Hola, bienvenidos a Hola Tuesday. Soy Romina, tu profesora de español de Hola Spanish. Hay tres películas en español disponibles en Netflix que sí o sí tienes que ver. There are three Spanish movies available in Netflix that you must watch. Número uno. El laberinto del fauno. Its title in English is Pan's Labyrinth. I put this movie at the top of the list because it's one of my favorite movies of all times and I don't want any of you to miss the opportunity to watch it. It was written, produced and directed by Guillermo del Toro. If you haven't heard his name before, the guy is a genius. I'm sure that you probably watched or at least heard one of his films, like The Shape of Water, Hellboy and Crimson's Peak. True to his style, Guillermo del Toro combines fantasy with reality. That's why I think it's a film that captivates both fantasy fans and um, realistic or historical movie fans. The story takes place in Spain in 1944, few years after the Spanish Civil War that ended with General Franco, with General Franco in power. For those of you who don't know much about Franco, Franco received the support of the fa fascist regime of Nazi Germany. Franco was a brutal dictator and even shared some of Hitler's ideas. The rebels are on the losing side. They sought refuge in the mountains from where they're trying to continue with the resistance. That's where our protagonist, Ophelia, an 11-year-old girl who's fascinated with fairy tales, is traveling to. Her mother married for the second time to Vidal. Vidal is the captain of the armed police. He supports Franco's government and he's in charge of eliminating the rebels. Ofelia is going to meet her stepfather for the first time and to live with him. Vidal and Ofelia are antagonists in a movie where reality clashes with fantasy. This is a must-watch movie if you're learning Spanish. Número 2 Losers. Los amigos no se eligen. A hilarious comedy that you must watch. The destinies of an Argentine, a Chilean and a Peruvian are intertwined in a crazy adventure full of action and, love and laughter. After a terrible accident, these three men are lost in the heart of the Amazon rainforest from which they would try to escape to be in the final of the 2014 Soccer World Cup in Brazil. Most of the jokes in this movie revolve around stereotypes we have of Argentines, Chileans, Peruvians and Brazilians. If you don't know these stereotypes, it could get a little bit boring. The Argentine is talkative and know-it-all, the Peruvian is cheeky, and very proud of his food, of Peruvian food, and the Chilean is timid, conservative, and traditional. The film also mocks the territorial disputes between Peru and Chile, and the eternal football rivalry between Argentina and Brazil. One other thing that makes to the humor of this film is actually the language. Unfortunately, it gets lost in translation if you don't speak Spanish at all. The three nationalities have a different way of speaking. For example, the Argentine says boludo, while the Chilean says huevón. These words are typical of these countries. They share the same meaning in English. Depending on the context, they can mean dude, mate, or idiot. Like an insult, but unfortunately the colorful accents get lost in the process. Número 3. Contratiempo. If you consider the title as one word, contratiempo, then it will mean something like problem, setback, and also offbeat or off time. But if we split it into two words, contra and tiempo, then it means against time in English. However, for some strange reason, in English it was titled The Invisible Guest. Yeah, I'm not too sure why they call it like that. But hey, let's get into the story. 
Adrián Doria, a successful businessman from Spain, is married and has a family. He wakes up in a hotel room next to the dead body of his lover, Laura. Adrián is arrested by the police and accused of murder. For his trial defense, Adrián's lawyer hired Virginia Goodman. She is the best lawyer in the city and has never in her entire career lost a case. Adrián Doria's defense is the last case she decides to take on before her retirement, and she will do whatever it takes not to ruin her win history. She is determined to win at all costs. It is a thriller that is full of twists uh -huh. and it has an unexpected end. It yeah. has a complex plot. The truth fights to come out in a sea full of lies. I really like a phrase they use to promote the release of this film. Toda historia tiene dos caras. La verdad, solo una. Every story has two sides. The truth has only one. Now I would love to hear from you. ¿Cuál es tu película en español favorita? What's your favorite Spanish movie? Compártela con nosotros en los comentarios. Share it with all of us in the comments below. If you are new to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to get notifications so you don't miss our video lessons. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And if you want to learn some basic phrases right now, you can sign up to our free weekly Spanish lessons. I'll leave you guys the link in the description. Me gustaría también saber por qué te gusta esa película. I would also like to know why you like that particular movie. So please leave it in the comments below. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en la próxima clase. Adiós, amigos.